Hello, welcome to CM Videos, a YouTube channel where we try to help you get started with modeling. And if you're already down the modeling route, we also try to help you curate effective solutions to any computational modeling problem that you may have. This video is aimed at showing you two ways of specifying share, a share load, a simple share, and a pure share. And then we're going to compare those two results. And the kind of results you will get will be this simulation for a simple share this kind of simulation for a pure share we are going to compare them together and then from that comparison we can also generate the stress strain plot for that so this is the objective of this video so let's sit back and relax as we get started with this modeling Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're looking at this um, RV, a 2D RV, which is contains particles within it and nodal numbers. So in order to specify a simple share, the principle basically is that on the back end of this domain, we're going to constrain it in X and Y direction. I'm going to impose periodic boundary condition to this simulation, so in which case only the corner nodes will be used in creating our loading cases so node 1 and node 4 will be constrained in x and y direction and node 2 and node 3 will be constrained only in the x direction and then we need to introduce a displacement to create the simple share so this is what a simple share setup will look like what will be the deformed profile so we'll end up with a deformed profile that looks like this which basically means that we're moving from this node 2 upwards so you end up having this kind of um, a parallelogram you know sort of shape for the deformed profile now the other side to it is pure shear a pure shear simulation basically means that shear is constant across the whole domain so what do we do with this we only need to constrain at one point which is node one uh, and then we apply a displacement at node two and a displacement at node four so that the deformed profile we are going to get will be a shear deformation where we have a shear strain at this point and another shear strain at that point. When you add those two shear strain together, then you should get the total shear strain in the model. So this is how we're going to set up the pure shear simulation. And to illustrate this, we're going to use a steel plate with a very massive hole right in the middle. The steel plate is 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter and the material is a steel material with those directions given just to give you an idea the shear strain that we impose on the model will be based on a 20 millimeter displacement divided by obviously one of the edge lengths of this material which is 100 millimeter so the shear strain will be about 0.2 so this is what we're going to work with okay so let's go into abacus so that we can actually see how this modeling works okay so here we are already in abacus so what we have here i've created the model already so it's a 100 by 100 model with the dimensions given two things things that i want you to be aware of first is we're going to create a set to represent the corner nodes and what do we need to do we need to select all the corner nodes press down shift and pick those corner nodes independently directly so that gives you the corner nodes and we need to create a history variable for that so corner node history output so let's call it that so and that will be based on a set of the corner nodes and the values we're interested in is rf1 rf2 u1 u2 core 1 core 2 again i'll put a link in the in the card for you if you're interested in finding out how these two other videos that have used this principle in terms of creating a simple share so this first simulation is based on a simple share so what do we need to do in abacus so we double click here remember we're fixing the back so x so back fixed an initial boundary condition displacement so we need these two nodes so i'll select them by holding down shift and i'll constrain it in x and y direction now for the front side so front roller so we need to put a roller support in the front end so we get not that and not that and we need to constrain it in the one direction and then finally we need to say okay my y displacement to create the shear load it will be a, a load a loading step so we select that bit and that will be in the y direction we want to put a 20 millimeter displacement so this is what you get in this case so the model has been meshed 
everything so let's just go and create a job so i'm going to call it pure share um case All right not it's not a pure share case so this is a simple share case right so that's the first case so we've created the job associated with that now what we're going to do is to also create the job another job for the simple the pure share case so i'm going to right click here click copy so this would have to be pure share pure share case so everything about the model setup will be exactly the same in the pure share case the only thing we need to worry about is here where we're interested in how it is fixed so i'm going to take away the two initial boundary condition that we had before and then okay i said okay my node one fixed because that's what we want so the node one is the one at the corner here so we want it fixed in the x and y direction and y displacement is still fine so we're okay with that but we need to also create an x displacement so x displacement will go to the top here and in the x direction will be also 20. so basically we've got this to represent our pure shear case simulation so again pure shear case so this represents our second case of pure shear so we've got those two models already set so what we're going to do is to write write input those files write input those files and we need to find where this is in the computer so that we can harvest it and then apply periodic boundary condition to it so what do you need to do so you do file set working directory and then you copy the location control c to copy the location where it is so i'm going to now find it in my computer okay so i've copied that file and i've now got to the environment within matlab which is another software where i've got pbc gen light pbc gen light is a software that i developed for imposing periodic boundary condition on any 2d rve so please again do find find it and use it so i've pasted it here this is the link to the software is put in the description section of this video so the two uh, simulations um, that i'm going to run are there so what we're going to then do is okay pbc gen light record that code do the simple share case first so what it will do is that it will run through the simulation and pick out the values for us okay so um, close all so it picks out the value for us so what we're going to do is um, we will copy let me just copy that link the new file name the updated file name open this case and then run abacus right in here so i put abacus case um, so this command makes the simulation to run within Abacus for this case where this model has an updated in instance. So once this finished, then we go back and do the other one. Okay, so this simulation has completed. It said the job has completed. So uh, before we look at the results, so let's just go back up to the main PBCGen folder and then I'll call PBCGen again. This time around, I'm dealing with the pure shear situation. Again, I need to copy the link to those files the new file name close every opening open file then the pure share scenario so i'll call abacus again so this will also run as well and then generate us the result okay the pure share case situation has also finished running so if i copy that link then i'm going to now open this model in abacus so that we can visualize what the result look like so here we are in abacus so if you open this so i'll paste the link to the file change this to odp file so then I can visualize what the result look like. Okay, so that's the result for the pure shaky situation. Now, so let's do the same. Go back to that folder and look at the simple shaky situation. Okay, so you get similar results. Obviously, to check what the differences would be. Okay, so if you put the two together, you could see that in this simple shaky situation, it is pin, pin, pin at this point pinned at this other point but then there is this movement here so this is what you get when the system is undergoing a, a simple shear situation but then what if we switch around to the uh, pure shear case situation so it becomes different so if you see what we have here it becomes different so 
this end is moving inwards that other end is moving inwards and then you end up having a different deformation profile so what if we compare the two of them so okay so what we see here is a comparison between the two cases one being the simple shear on the left and the right situation being the pure shear so if we get to the end so you end up having a series of that look like this which again indicates that there is a difference in the way the formation profile for a simple a pure shear and a simple shear then the next thing we need to do really is to extract some stress strain data from that so we start the case with a simple case so i click here history now i need to select that press down control and then select here so we plot that result then plugin tools excel current plot so we get that current plot and it will convert it into an, an excel file which we're going to then you know copy across right so this is our excel file that we generated directly from our abacus so i'll copy that link control c to copy um, and then i have already prepared a template for analyzing this so for the simple share case scenario first and foremost so we go to the top end here and click paste the data okay so this is the data that we've obtained and then it generates the plot for us for this situation and then on the right side here you could look at the the script the argument that i've used to generate the force the strain and the stresses again i'll provide this spreadsheet for people to use if if you want to understand what is going on with this Okay, so this is the data for the second part. We copy that and then we go back to our spreadsheet that we're using and paste the data. Okay, so this is the result that we find for both of them. And then if we then go ahead, now that we've got that data, we can then compare them. So if we do the comparison of these two data, this is the kind of result you will get. So um, I've got the plot up to somewhere around you know, 0.007. So you can see that the simple share is different from the pure share. The pure share is a better prediction of the behavior of the system in share. So if you look at the values in the simple share, share modulus is being predicted as 22.94, but the actual value is more in the 50, 60 range, um, in the 40 something range. So this is the pure share, which is a better prediction. Um, the effective strength for both cases are essentially the same, so it's not a problem. So this is the kind of thing I wanted to show in this video that actually in terms of how you specify your shear deformation is really important to the behavior of the system. Thank you for your interest in this channel. If this is the kind of content you like, please do subscribe to my channel and leave comments in the comment section of this video. Um, click the like button so that when people like you and see this video, it, you know, YouTube will recommend it to them. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.